Hello everyone, this is Daphne O back with another video and in today's video I will be showing you guys how I create my digital journals to use in the Samson Note app um, on Canva. I use the free version but there's also a paid version but I found out that I can do everything that I need to do in the free version. This is not a Canva tutorial, this is just a how to um, create a digital journal using the Canva um, platform. If you need to learn how to do, how to work and operate within the Canva platform, there are plenty of other videos out there that can teach you how to do that as well. I got my Canva app off the Google Play Store. I, I'm using my Galaxy X's Lite. I can't speak for the um, Apple platform, but I'm pretty sure you can find Canva on the Apple platform, but I, I don't have Apple products, so I can't really speak for that platform. And like I said, this is for the user Samsung Notes app on the Samsung tablets and phone. I clicked on create a document or design is what it says and I'm choosing document size A4 I'm sure you can choose other document size but I found out this worked best in the Samsung Notes app and once you do your document size Samsung will show you some templates that you can use for free and some are paid and you can just choose one of their templates and then just design it according to how you like but I'm gonna create mine from scratch and over there I clicked on uploads and these are uploads that I upload myself to my um, device and this is a design I created myself, but you can also use their free elements to create yours. You don't have to go create a separate design and upload. You can use their elements, which is what I'm doing now. I'm clicking on elements and you can click in the search bar and search for elements. But I have a bunch of recent used ones that I use in my digital journal. So that's where I'm going. And right now I'm just creating a background design to have for my um, digital planner because I like to have a little background ground designs on my planner. You can keep it simple and not do um, background designs if you don't want, but it's the cool thing about creating your own digital planner is you can design it to your liking to your appealing how you know to your style whatever fits you and that's what I'm doing here and that's the duplicate button I've just duplicated that design and here I'm gonna just show you how I'm rearranging it on um, my background and I changed the transparency I was talking I didn't um, get to tell you that part but you can rewind and see why I changed the transparency of the element so it wouldn't be so um, bold now I'm going to add the text ahead and this is my cover page for my digital journal by the way it's the page with the month title with the title of the month on it um I forgot to put 2022 I usually put 2022 on my journals and I forgot it or you know whatever year it is but I forgot and I went to text add a heading type in February here I'm showing you where you can change up your font size you can choose any fonts you want I already got my favorites up there so I'm just using one of my favorite fonts but you can scroll through and use any um, type of font you want now I'm going to adjust this, the um, height of the font. I'm showing you can also go over there and adjust it, which I will because I don't like them points. Like there's 98 points. I don't. I like even numbers. So that's what I'm gonna go there and make a nice even number. And I'm doing this for the month of February. Here is where you can change the font color. You can scroll down and choose one of the colors in the palette, or you can go out there and push that plus sign, and you can create your own color. And next, I'm going to go to the effects. And this is where you can change up your um, lettering style. They have certain effects that you can use. You can choose what, whichever effect you want. I'm just going through the different ones so you can see what they look like. But you can choose whichever effect that, you know, appeals to you. I'm not sure which one I choose here. Because I choose different ones different times. I don't, my, my journals are not always the same every month. They're different because I like designing them. Now after I did the effects, I'm going to go back to elements and I'm gonna choose like a little text box. It's not really a text box, it's just an element, but I'm gonna use it as a text box. It's already in my recents, but you can search for however you want to. And I'm arranging it for my goals and affirmations because I put my goal and affirmations on my cover page. You do not have to do this, but I do. And all I did was duplicate it, the, element that I'm using for a text box and now with it here I'm changing the color of it because I don't like that brown color I mean the brown color is all right but I want to change the color and add some colors to it for the text box and that's what I'm doing and then I'm gonna go to add a little text again and I'm gonna type in the words for goals and affirmations and the same thing I did with February as far as like changing the font changing the font size changing the effects that's what I did with the words goals and affirmations that's what I'm doing right now with goals I'm changing doing the effects changing a different type of effect changing the font color 
and I, I'm gonna just duplicate this so I don't have to go through all them steps all over again. And I'm gonna just change out the word from goals to affirmation. And I'm gonna change the background color to blue just to match my text box color. It's pretty much repetitive once you learn one step. I mean, it's pretty much repetitive for the rest of the steps. Now I'm gonna click on duplicate page. You can also click on blank page, but I'm doing duplicate page because I want to keep that background effect. But if you want a blank page without that black background effect and start over, that's what you will click on a blank page. And I just went over here and I'm selecting the elements and I'm deleting them. Because this page is going to be my monthly log. And I went out there and changed February to monthly log. And I'm doing the same thing with this words that I did with February. I'm changing the font color. I'm going to go and change the effect on monthly log. It's the same exact thing that I did with the lettering for the month of February. So... If this is going too fast, you can rewind it back and see what I did with the month of February. And once again, I went to my uploads because I did my own calendar. But Canva has calendars that you can use, or you can create that create your own calendar within Canva. I just recreated, I just created this within my Illustrator app. And this is the calendar I'm using. And now I'm just adding a little note section to go underneath my calendar. And it's the same thing with the lettering for the little note section. I'm gonna change the font, change the color, change the effects. The same as that thing. Like I said, if you need to see what I did, you can, did, you can rewind it to um, the beginning and see how I did all that. And the thing about creating your own digital journal, you can have whatever pages you want. You can, like I said, you can make it to fit your needs. So, like, if you don't want a monthly log, you don't have to include it. If you just want a weekly log, you can include a weekly log. Or if you just want to include a to-do list, you can do a, a to-do list. Or if you want to include all of it, you can do all of it. And I'm gonna duplicate this page again so I can keep the background. And next is gonna be the weekly log. And I'm just gonna change the name monthly log to weekly log. And I do believe I'm gonna change out the color, but not right now. And I'm gonna delete the um element, the elements. And I kept the notes element. I'm gonna use that for to duplicate the days of the week <coughs> and I went back over there to elements and I did another little element for text box and I'm just duplicating them for the seven days of the week that's all I'm doing in this part just duplicating making seven little text box for the seven days a week so like I was saying yeah you can whatever pages you want to include in your digital journal you can include it and whatever pages you want to omit you can omit it that's the fun that's the I think that's one of the most important things about creating your own digital journal. Right here, I'll just showing you how you can line it up to make everything, um, I talk so much, <laughs> talking through the tutorial, to make it all nice and neat, and that's what I did. I select multiple ones, and then I just line it up vertically, and then I center the one at the bottom. And here, I'm going out there, and I'm gonna change the letter. Well, no, I didn't. I'm changing the color of the text box. I'd be extra sometime. Right? <laughs> now I'm changing notes to, you know, Sunday start. Some people don't like Sunday start. Some people like a Monday start. See, that's, that's another good thing about creating your own journal. You can start it however you want to start it, whether you want to start it on a Sunday or a Monday. Y'all, please excuse the background noise. I'm outside, so you might hear the cars and stuff go by. I say this in all my videos. I'm not very professional as a content creator. You will hear all of the unprofessionalism in my background. And all I'm going to do here is just duplicate Sunday. That's what I'm showing you. And I'm gonna duplicate it for each day of the week. And then I'm gonna just, you know, edit it for the same Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you yeah. know. This um, journal that I'm creating right here, I will have it available on my website, which is kbbooksprezent.com for free if you wanna use this um, in Samson Notes, like I said. I don't know if you can use it in any other application, but I'm pretty sure any application that allow um, PDF annotation, you, you can use this. I'm pretty sure, but I'm I'm not positive. But I know for a fact you can use it in Samson Notes because this is what I created for Samson Notes. But yes, it would be on my website, kbbookspresents.com. And it'll be a tab that says PDF. And you can download it for free there if you would like to use this particular one that I'm doing. I will have it uploaded to um, my website. And it's for free. The only thing I ask if that is that you share my website with others. Let them know about it. It's a book website. Katie Books Present. Um, I do children's stories. I do journals. I do um, children's activity books. And these free um, PDFs. Digital PDF files for Samson Notes. I don't know if it will be... If you can use it in the Good Notes app, because I know the Good Notes app is made for the Apple platform, so I really want to know. 
and y'all gonna have to rewind because I was talking through that. Um, oh, because you because the week the weekly planner is like five weeks in a month, so right here I'm doing week weekly log week one, and I'm just uh messing around with the font because I couldn't, it, it just couldn't. Yeah, the thing about doing you know, sometimes stuff just don't look right to you, and it takes a while to get it right. And that's what I'm doing, trying to get this right. And then there's a page sorter. You're going to see right there. I'm going to click on it. And it shows you all the pages that you have created so far, which is only three. But since I usually do five weeks for five weeks in a month, sometimes it be four weeks in a month, but I always do five weeks. So I'm going to duplicate this page four other times. So it'll be a total of five pages. Which is what I'm doing now. So there's a total of five pages to represent the five weeks in the month or the four weeks in a month. But like I said, I always do five weeks. I'm going to go back to the page and click out of the page sorter. Then I'm going to click on weekly log, which is this is the second page that I duplicated. And I'm going to change it to week two. I'm going to change the color. Because like I said, I'm extra. You can, you can keep it all the same color if you want, but I'm extra. So I'm gonna change the background. <laughs> change the font color. And I'm going to change the number one to number two. I think. Okay. I did it. Yeah. And then I'm going to just do that for week three. Same difference. I say same difference. That's same difference. Week four, week five. Okay. Week four, And the next page, I believe, is going to be my gratitude page. I went back to page sorter so I can see how everything looks, see if I'm liking it. And I'm going to do a gratitude page. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on page two and I'm going to duplicate that so I don't have to delete a whole bunch of elements. And then once they duplicate it, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to move it to the end. So it will be at the end of um, the weekly log. This is going to be my gratitude pages usually come out of the week well i'm not for sure if i'm doing the gratitude page or not then i come out of the page sorter and i'm gonna just come and delete the element of the well of course i'm gonna call it gratitude log of course and then i'm gonna delete the element of the calendar and the next and i'll go over here to canva and their elements and i'm choosing a paper like look looking element Let's see for my gratitude log and just put it down to the end of the page and I just changed the effects on it as well because you can do that. And I'm doing a shadow effect. I want the paper to look like it's got shadows at the ends. And then I'm going to do, is if for the month of February, I think it's 28 days. I might have to come back and correct that, I'm sure. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm doing 28 lines so I can do a gratitude for each day. You know, what I'm thankful for for each day. That's what I'm doing here. And I'm changing the font size. And then I messed up because instead of like 11, 12, 13, it was like 111, 112, 113. So I'm just going through there and delete that because I, I don't know what I was doing. And that's my gratitude page. And I'm going to just change the font on that as well. I'm going to make it a little bolder. I went back to the page sorter so I can see how I look. I'm going to duplicate the gratitude page. And I think my next page is going to be um, the tracker page. Like, you know, when you track how much water you drink or how much exercise you do. Some people have that in their journal, and that's what this is. This is a tracker page. It's going to be blank. Nothing else is going to be added because it gets added during your actual journaling when you do your journaling. And I will have a video showing you how I fill out my digital journal, and you will see that in that video. And I'm doing a memories page. And with this page, I'm going to put, like, um, text elements like I did for the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, and so forth. In certain texts, it's going to be, you can insert pictures. You can just go to your, when you upload it to the Samsung Note app to use as your digital journal. You can up, so, uh, upload pictures in these little boxes to, you know, for memories for the month of February or whatever month it is you're in. <coughs> Excuse me. I promise you I'm not sick, y'all. I just have this never-ending cough because I did have COVID, but I'm, I'm, I don't have COVID anymore. But I do have that everlasting cough that would not go anywhere, so you have to excuse me. Yeah, I'm showing you where you go to save it and download it. And I download this as a PDF because you upload it in the Samsung note as a PDF. But you can also save it as a picture file if you want to PNG, JPEG. But um, PDF annotation in Samsung notes is the best way to use it as your digital journal. And 
this right here, I'm just showing you where if you don't want to do all this yourself, you can go to Etsy and type in Samsung Digital Planner. And Etsy does have a few. They don't have a lot like the Apple platform, but it does have a few up there for sale. If you don't want to do this and you just rather pay. And that's what I'm just showing you here. But yes, please stay tuned for my video on how to actually fill out your digital journal that will be uploaded next. We have come to the end. I thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.